Sandpaper is one of the most versatile tools out there. We all know what it does. You can sand out scratches, sand off rust, corrosion. You can sand different types of metals, wood, plastics. You can even use the sandpaper on many different tools. Use it by hand, use it on a drill. We've got an electric palm sander here and an air sander. It works on all that, but today I'm gonna to show you some of the best uses I've found for sandpaper. Now we're gonna sand out some scratches in this aluminum silencer. We've got a pretty deep gouge right here. That's gonna require starting with 180 grit, whereas some of these finer scratches you see, some of the pits, I would start with like 320 or 400 grit. We're actually gonna use this on a drill. So we've got a drill adapter pad. It's got a hook and loop, kind of like a Velcro attachment there. Pop it into a drill. And I found that sandpaper usually works best with some lubricant. So I sprayed some Maxima MPPL on here and get sanding. On something like this, might want to use a foam pad in between the sandpaper so that way it doesn't gouge it apart. Kind of see there it's creating some ripples in it. So that gouge is all the way smoothed out at this point. Say that took I don't know, probably two or three minutes with a drill, which isn't too bad at all. It was pretty deep. Now there's a couple ways we could go from here. We could just leave it. It doesn't look half bad to sand it with 180 there, or we could touch it up with a cleaning type pad. Just give it a brush look, kind of bring it back to a consistent shine. That doesn't look bad at all either. Now, if you want a full mirror shine out of your part, you can use a number three polishing wheel along with a blue compound. Pull the nice shine out of that, considering what it looked like before. And like I mentioned earlier, you can use the sandpaper on many different materials, such as in plastics, wood. We're gonna sand this piece of plastic here. There's some scratches and pits here. They're honestly not bad. So I'm gonna start with 400 grit. If you have really deep scratches, you're gonna to wanna to start with 320 on plastics. We're gonna start with 400 here and see what it does. And when you're sanding plastics, you're gonna to wanna to use soapy water. So that 400 grit smoothed it out really nicely. There's no scratches left over. One thing I want to note is when you're sanding plastics, especially with this three inch pad, you need to have a foam pad in between the sandpaper and the drill adapter or else you'll end up gouging the plastic. Now you can see the plastic is really dull there. If you wanted to bring out a full shine like we have right here, you can keep sanding up to 2000 grit and then buff it on a bench grinder, or you could even use a polishing wheel on a drill to bring that shine back. Got it sanded up to 2000 grit. It's gonna be pretty dull looking, but we're gonna go bring some shine out of it. Now to polish this part up, I'm gonna be using a plastic polishing wheel here on the bench grinder, along with a plastic polishing compound. You can see right here we pulled some pretty decent shine out of it. it looks pretty close to a new part so yeah that kind of shows the capability of just some simple sandpaper and some polishing throughout this video we mostly use sandpaper on the drill however you can use it on a hand sander as well it just takes a little bit longer so hopefully that gave you guys a little insight on how useful sandpaper is